Over the next few minutes, we will explain what reports should be printed for year-end. After the year-end close has been completed, we recommend you print and keep five reports. Batch status, posting journals, balance sheet, trial balance, and transactions listing. These reports give you an overall view of the year-end closing transactions and of your company's financial situation. They can be given to your external audiences, like accountants, or to your controller. Let's see how to open these reports in Sage 300. We'll first open the batch status report. We go to General Ledger, then GL Reports. Open the batch status. For the batch number, we will select the last batch which contains the closing entries. And print. The report shows all the activity that has taken place during the year-end closing, including the number of transactions and the total debits and credits posted. Let's open the Posting Journals report. Select the very last posting sequence and print. The report shows an audit trail of all the transactions posted for the year-end. To print the balance sheet, go to Financial Reporter and select Print Financial Statements. Select the first period of the new year and print. You can see the assets, liability, and shareholders' equity for the company. These accounts are never closed out, so you should have opening balances coming from the previous year. To print the trial balance, go back to GL Reports and select trial balance. Select the first period of the new year and print. This report shows all the opening balances for the new year. Note that all the income statement accounts should be at zero. Finally, we'll open the transactions listing report. This report reveals all entries posted to the GL. It shows all the net changes, balances, and transaction details for all accounts within the range of the fiscal year. Congratulations, you now know what reports should be printed for year-end.